Hello YouTube, Film Buff 6 here. This is a follow-up video to one of my um, my previous movie reviews because this month is the month of Halloween, which is which uh, by the time I'm recording this is a week and four days away. Um um, um, to start off on a um, on a lighter note and slightly off topic, I um, I rewatched the the, um, the 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 most recent Doctor Who fiftieth anniversary trailer that we got last night from the BBC, and I have to say that it that it that it is just a freaking fantastic and awesome trailer. Um, Anyway, that's that out of the way. Um, anyway, this is going to be a review slash rant on a slasher horror film that I don't that I don't particularly like very much. It's called Urban Legend, released in 1998, directed by Jamie Blanks, and was made in the wake of the success of Scream. Uh, the first Scream movie, which was released in 1996. Um, and the, the success of this movie, for some reason, spawned, spawned only two sequels, which are respectively titled Urban Legends Final Cut and Urban Legends Bloody Mary. Um, I'm not going to bother going... Um, the, these two sequels are direct to video, and I'm not going to bother watching both and watching both films. I'm just going to focus on this first one. Um, now the plot, now the premise of this movie, it, it, this film is based on the premise that a killer is using all the methods of death that are described in certain urban legends as a means to um to kill his or her victims um which which for a horror movie i just find as just an interesting very very original very very interesting idea because no other horror movie or any filmmaker has ever taken on a concept like this before but um but um i've i've written down a list of um of problems that i've got with this movie here we go um the first problem the first one is not really a problem but the opening seven to eight minutes of the movie, which features a cameo from a Brad Dorif, who we know voiced Chucky in the Child's Play series, and played Grima Wormtongue in Lord of the Rings, um, and a young girl getting killed by the killer from her car back seat. Um, those opening seven to eight minutes, they're actually surprisingly really, really good. It just kind of reminds you of the, the um, I think the 12, the opening scene, the 12 minute opening scene of Scream, which featured a certain Drew Barrymore. Um, second problem, why are the words... Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, repeated so many times. I don't get that. Thirdly, what is Robert England, aka Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street, doing in this film? Because he looks because he looks bored shitless, like he doesn't want to be here at all. Fourthly, why on earth is it when, whenever there is a moment or two that have the potential to be scary, 
dark, suspenseful, or dramatic. For example, a male high schooler presumably dying from a cocktail of pop rocks mixed with soda, only to find out that he's faked the whole thing. Moments like this when some juvenile or retarded high schooler or college student or, you know, a best friend that you might know at college, you know, desperately wants to make you feel as scared scared shitless as humanly possible by playing such cruel, mean-spirited and childish jokes, practical jokes on you, are just fucking idiotic, immature and pathetic. Fifthly, is it just me, or is the basic plot of this movie um, seem like a blatant carbon copy of Scream? Actually, not just not not just a blatant carbon copy of Scream. Um, also, a blatant ripoff of Scream. But I'll get to that in a moment. Sixthly. Sixthly, is it me, or does the the weird janitor who works around the campus kind of remind me of a younger, more coked up version of William Hartnell as the doctor, um, except sporting Javier Bardem's haircut from No Country for Old Men? Um... And eighthly, boring backstory relating to some guy dying in a car crash. Enough said about that. Ninthly, the, tw the predictable twist is that the best friend to our main heroine was the urban legend killer all this time. Oh, oh, um, and that is a spoiler alert, by the way. Wow. How fucking predictable. I knew who the killer was within the first hour of this movie. And that's the truth. And that's the truth. I'm not exaggerating. You know, th you know... This reminds me of, you know, the last five minutes of The Wedding of River Song, the twist in that piece of shit episode of Doctor Who, where it was revealed that the doctor who died at the hands of River Song herself in the astronaut suit was actually the test selector disguised as the doctor. Just... What a cheap and lazy way to take a giant last minute shit on what should be otherwise a potentially original and interesting premise for a horror movie. Uh, tenthly, the actress playing the best friend of our main heroine is so over the top in her performance to the point where she makes Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker in the Star Wars prequels feel like an Oscar winner. And finally, eleventh problem, after having been presumably killed towards the end of the movie, it turns out that the best friend of our main heroine survived that ordeal. <sighs> you know what? You know what? Let's just fuck it and just get to my overall thoughts. Just... <sighs> what a huge disappointment this movie was. The premise, as I've said so many times throughout this video, had so much potential for there to be an awesome horror movie. 
but it progressively devolves into a messy scream ripoff filled to the brim with genre cliches and ridiculously over-the-top gruesome deaths. The script is lazily written. Um, although competent, Jamie Blanks directs this film with the visual flair of a horny high school student who is just making his very own college project for media class. In, in, in the sad hopes of getting a grade, of, of getting a good grade. The performances are a mixed bag, ranging from decent and passable at best, to at worst bland, annoying and over the top. Um, the characters are uninteresting, two-dimensional, cardboard cutouts of high school archetypes slash stereotypes that you don't give two shits about. Robert England is completely wasted in this movie. The score is okay, I guess. The, the twist ending, the twist ending is just a Big fuck you to the or to the in to the audience's intelligence. <sighs> in conclusion, I just give Urban Legend a three out of ten. It has its good moments, but on the whole, it is a disappointing mess of a movie, and I seriously do not recommend this to anyone at all, especially not to horror fans. That's me done. Now feel free to comment below and let me know your opinions on this, your personal opinions on this film, plus feel free to subscribe to my channel, and until my next video, whatever it may be, do take care everyone. Happy Halloween, <laughs> and goodbye.